Now, I know I don't need to explain slavery to any of you all. I'm old enough to refer to that terrible institution. I can tell you that in my family, we thought it was wrong. We did not believe in it. Now, my first day in New Orleans, I sold the corn and wheat and other crops I brought with me. And then I wandered around the marketplace. I was looking for a souvenir, right, something I could buy to take back and show my folks what New Orleans was like. And I saw something that day I'd never seen before in my life. And I never wanted to see again. That day I witnessed a slave auction. I found the whole thing so disgusting that it made me sick. I swore that slavery had to be the greatest evil on the face of the earth. If ever I was in a position to do something about it, I wanted to help get rid of it. Before I could even go to Washington, D.C. to be sworn in, the state of South Carolina declared, if Abraham Lincoln sets foot in the White House, he will not be part of this country anymore. And that is the start of the Civil War. And I thought it was all my fault. I felt responsible for all their deaths. I thought maybe if I had not been elected president, those states wouldn't have broken off like that. The fight never would have started. I don't think I got a good night's sleep the whole four years of that war. But something good. Something wonderful did come out of that war. In 1862, I sent word to all them southern states telling those folks, if you do not stop fighting now, I will free your slaves. They did not stop. I knew they wouldn't. So on January 1st, 1863, I was finally able to sign a document I'd written some months earlier called the Emancipation Proclamation. And on April 9, 1865, in a little town called Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, they finally surrendered, and the war would come to a close. You know, I thought I might finally get a good night's sleep, but it's a funny thing. Not too long after that war ended, I went to bed early one night, and I had a strange dream. In my dream, I thought I heard people crying downstairs in the White House. In my dream, I put on my robe, I went downstairs, and as I walked down the halls, I came to a room where I thought I saw the body of a man laid out on the table, dead, with a flag draped over. Soldiers were guarding the body, the people, they stood around the room and, and they were all crying. In my dream, I turned to one of the soldiers and I said, who is this? Who's dead in the White House? And the soldier looks at me and he says, that's Abraham Lincoln. And he has been killed by an assassin. 